contrary to my nature rules have been forced upon me. According to them, as if according to a contract, which I, by the way, haven't signed, I have to punch till the end of my days. How did it happen? I don't know. He's punching. I've got no time to think. Sometimes he knocks me out. When it happens, I recall that before my participation in the fight was planned and approved, I had tripped and collapsed into a foreign space. In this foreign space, where I got due to some stupid fatal oversight, I'm doomed to punch till the end of my days. And it is clear to me that I do this not for protection, not for assault, and certainly not for some kind of gain. I do this because the invisible, inaudible, incomprehensible mechanisms of this space by themselves clench my fists and move my hands. He's punching. His movements are probably controlled by the same mechanisms. Or maybe he's also a stranger in the room. Does it matter? A diamond should be exhibited at a jewelry store on its haughty velvet radiant storefront. There it's worth something. On the market it costs a fiver, whether it's real or fake. My life is being sold at a flea market. It costs nothing. On top of that, I have to pay for it. Exhausting myself, I pay an unbearable price for a thing that has been forced upon me is burdensome and unneeded. The unceasing ring is taking away the remains of my strength. But I am being told you have to punch faster. More intensity, more vigor, more energy, more precision. They say this. It's necessary to slow down time. To reduce it to zero. To stop it. Time shows itself only through movement and it has no other ways to reveal and reify itself. So it is dependent, so it's not omnipotent. Moreover, if time depends on cause, then it's vulnerable. If I don't punch, I don't exist. And time doesn't exist as well. I'm a homeless eye put naked into a splashing stream. I'm a microscopic frame of film. One momentary flash of light belongs to me, but before the shutter closes, in this single instant of light, for some reason I have been assigned to catch myriads of blind, aimless, unceasing flickers. No, I'm smaller. I'm the pupil itself. Void. Naked vision. Then why do I cry like a human? There was a dog. And all this, there was a darkness I liked, dancing on the sails of a dawn, dancing on the sails and they're gone. I bought this. the light, I brought the time you wanted, I brought it like a savior, and I knew what I couldn't do, drowning like a savior, and I knew what I couldn't do, so much I could never do.